going to show you how to make a cute little Easter bunny. fill your sock is to take a roll of sellotape, pop it in the top like that. Just makes it easier to get the rice into it. And then take your rice, empty it in. Depending on the size of your sock, about half a bag of rice. But it'd be very cute if you made a little baby one. You wouldn't need much rice and you get a little baby rabbit, it'd be very sweet. Okay, so take a, an elastic band or a hair bobble and tie up about, I don't know, about a quarter of the way, halfway down. This is going to be your ears at the end, so just think about the length you'd like your ears to be. If you want extra long ears, then obviously leave a bit more at the top. Make it really nice and tight, it means your stuffing won't come out. Then give it a wiggle around inside and you want to portion it off. So a little bit heavier at the bottom, a little bit of a smaller amount for your, your head. So once you've got that, lie it down and then take a piece of string or wool, whatever you have, and put it around and make sure you tie it really tight. That means the rice won't go into the other section. So tie it off nice and tight, like so, and then snip it tight into it with your scissors. Right, there we go. So next thing you want to do is get the ears together. So to do the ears, take your scissors and cut slap down the middle of this top area all the way down. So you split it in half. And once it's split in half, you want to take some white glue, PVA, um, wood glue, even Yoohoo, you find something. If you don't even have glue, you could use double-sided tape and put it down. You want to stick your glue along between them. I won't do it at the moment because it'll be a wee bit sticky. And then once you've got that, you want to shape your ear. So you just want to cut until you get a bit of a point on it like that. Same on the other side, so it'll be all stuck together so it's not going to open up, but snip it down and then you'll have your bunny ears ready and they will be stuck together unlike this one. So once you've got that, what I did with my one was I actually took the hair bobble back off again and I put a bit of um, wool and tied it around the top just because it was a little bit neater but if you use an elastic band you could probably keep it on there and then once you've got your bunny like this you just want to put a face on them so felt it pen does this little eye here little eye there and for the nose a little kiss it's a really good shape to do on them like a little like that. Now of course you could stick something on, you could put buttons on or you could put a pom-pom on. Um, what I did on my one was I put a little pom-pom on the back, I had some pom-poms, I put them on a little tail. You could once again use some rolled up cotton wool and pop that on for a wee tail and then all you need to do is put some ribbon around them. Um, any ribbon, anything you'll do. If you don't have ribbon then a wee piece of fabric cut or a, oh I don't know maybe a piece of um, string would do and you want to tie it around your little bunny's neck and put it into a bow, tie it up around him and that will be your finished rabbit. You'll end up, once the ears are stuck, you'll end up with them like that. It is good to put a little tail on so we can give it a little wiggle. And this is your little Easter bunny. <laughs>